Welcome. Here is a rundown of the updated news. Russia have lost 23 ATAK helicopters in Ukraine. The UK's Ministry of Defense has released its latest intelligence report on the crisis in Ukraine. In its update, the ministry states there have been 23 verified losses of Russia's Ka-52 Hokomat AK helicopter in Ukraine since the invasion, which is nearly half of Russia's total helicopter losses in Ukraine. The attack helicopters have likely suffered particular attrition from Ukrainian man-portable air defense systems manpads. Meanwhile, Russian commanders are likely increasingly resorting to conducting high-risk attack helicopter missions. German President Arrives in Ukraine German President Frank Walter Steinmeier has arrived in Ukraine for a surprise visit today. It is Mr. Steinmeier's first trip to the country since Russia's invasion, and will see him meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. In a statement on Twitter, the German president's spokesperson Sustin Gamelin said, My message to the people of Ukraine is, You can count on Germany. We will continue to support Ukraine militarily, politically, financially and in humanitarian regards. And, Biden urged to pursue direct negotiations with Russia by Democratic lawmakers. President Joe Biden is being urged by liberals to rethink his strategy on the war in Ukraine and negotiate directly with the Kremlin to help bring about an end to the crisis. The group of 30 Democrats, led by Representative Pramila Jayapal, sent a letter to the White House, calling on Mr. Biden to pursue a proactive diplomatic push, redoubling efforts to seek a realistic framework for a ceasefire, The Washington Post reports. They also said that the consequences of the war were being felt across the world. Mm -hmm.